Hey, and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs. Doing uh, well, a few Parramatta light rail updates uh, today. Starting with this video. This video is going to be a Carlingford light rail stop update plus um, some tram testing. Uh, the first video featuring uh, the testing of the Parramatta light rail fleet, which consists of CAF Airbus 100s. Uh, they are testing at a pretty decent frequency um, to get a good few of them in this video actually. We've got two of them here. So um, this is Carlingford Light Rail Stop. It's actually built uh, right where Carlingford Railway Station used to be. So the units we have here are 2166 to the left and 2167 to the right. Got uh, signage here about the testing of light rail, saying light rail is now being tested. Avoid gaps, ride straight over the tracks. Uh, always cross light rail tracks at pedestrian crossings. Just all safety messages. All test signage, light rail is now being tested. Please do not board. Got 2167 leaving now. I just had a quick chat with one of the traffic controllers just to let him know what I'm doing, etc. Anyway, this is probably the best view I can get of Carlingford Light Rail Stop itself. It's it's very well complete. Um, cameras, everything, everything's up. Opal readers are up. Screens, uh, the passenger information display screens, they're working. Um, yeah, so it's all, all pretty well ready to go. They're just um, testing the trams, testing the tracks, signals, overhead, probably crew training, uh, route knowledge, all of that kind of stuff. As will be the same with um, with uh, pretty much every, the, every other stop, but I just wanna document these stations while they're testing. As you know, I love to cover everything I possibly can. All right, we're gonna walk up a little bit. Is this uh, cycleway which pretty much parallels the, the stops, so what we'll do is we'll move up a little bit and um, see what we can get just on the other side of this bridge. The next light rail vehicle should be here soonish. Must be a new cycle way because it's showing um, Parramatta 7.2 k's away. So what I'll do is I'll try and get some footage at um, all or most of the stops between here and Rose Hill for separate videos. So the Carlingford video will um, Carlingford video will feature the Carlingford light rail stop, um, some tram testing between Carlingford and the following stop, and um, yeah. All right, you got the next tram approaching now. I like how they're seven modules long, so they're a bit longer than the uh, than what we're used to.
it's 2162. <clears throat> so we'll move down to the next stop. So it goes from two tracks at, uh, at Carlingford into a single track just here and just up ahead at fans back out to uh, double line. Yeah, so I was just trying to think of how I'd do these videos. Obviously, I'm not going to get 10, min 10 or so minutes worth of footage at just the one stop. So, that, yeah, as I said, Carlingford 1 will feature the um, construction progress and stuff at Carlingford Light Rail Stop, plus some tram testing between Carlingford and the following stop. And then, yeah, the next video will be the following station and tram testing between that and the station after. I think, I think that just up here will be pretty good to get the next tram coming through, which will be the one that was, um, the one that remained at, at Carlingford as we walked off. Should be some pretty good footage as well. Nice open area here. Yeah, this should be cool. I'm guessing that um, the reason because the line goes from double track at Carlingford, single track for the short period before fanning back out to two tracks is because um, there would have been uh, a bit of difficulty widening the road, uh, widening the track um, area because of the bridge that we just walked under before. Uh, maybe there's a reason that they couldn't, um, couldn't do that. Which makes sense, I guess. There comes 2166. <laughs> So right now, uh, during the day, they're only being tested between Carlingford and Rose Hill uh, with nighttime testing uh, in Parramatta CBD. So I, at the moment, I can't, um, due to work purposes, can't exactly head out to Parramatta too late uh, unless it's on a night where I don't have work in the morning. Um, but then it also depends how I feel after that too. So what I'll do is we'll uh, just walk down here a little bit more. Um, film the next Carlingford bound tram passing and then um, we'll wrap this up and I'll, I'll continue walking to the next light rail stop. Should be easy enough. <laughs> Just follow the line. So the goal today is to pretty much do every stop between Carlingford and Rose Hill and then walk the rest of the way to Parramatta. So I've got a, a 6.8 kilometre walk, which is not too bad. Given my job, I'm always walking around, I'm always on my feet, so pretty well used to that. And I've just finished work not terribly long ago um, in Chiswick. That's where I was at today. And uh, I ended up getting a second wind. Second wind is in like, you know, the like a burst of energy in the middle of the day. So that's pretty good. Um, 
yeah, so this is just a mixed video um, showing the light rail stuff, showing some testing, showing the the uh, the light rail uh, alignment. That's uh, pretty cool uh, cycleway or walkway slash cycleway uh, through here as well. I like it. Part of me is hoping that the uh, the cycleway ends up being on the other side of the tracks at some point soon, just so the sun can be in a in a bit of a better spot. As you probably would have noticed when we got 2166 passing us, lighting wasn't exactly, you know, it wasn't too crash hot, but that's all right. Now, just look for a place to sort of, I keep saying sort of, a place to prop myself, I guess, uh, while waiting for the next light rail vehicle to pass us. I'm thinking up here will be quite all right. Just look uh, for a, a sort of gap between the plants and the garden bed, just to walk up onto the grass area there. Just so, you know, I'm not crushing any plants or anything like that. Next gap. It should be one up here. That's good enough. Let's walk up here to near the speedboard. Got a 70k zone here, which lasts all of about two seconds. But that's all right. There we go. I think this is pretty well where we need to be. Get this next light rail vehicle passing us, and then we'll then we'll wrap this up and walk to the next light rail stop, which is which I don't think is too far up. Very cool. So that's 2168 off the car Langford. So that shouldn't be, I don't know, it should be maybe about somewhere between three and five minutes, give or take, uh, till the next one leaves. So I'll see if I can zoom up to the next stop before then. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next part to this little series. Bye.